Alrighty, guys, what is going on, all you beautiful people? It is Big E on the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. <laughs> okay, that was supposed to be a hotkey, but it didn't work. <laughs> uh, anyway, how you guys doing, man? I hope everybody's doing all right. I surely do. Right there in front of you, that is Mr. Mountain. This is our no warrior. We are just chilling out here. Chilling out in the inn. I think it's the stout lagger inn is what it's called. Anyway, let's see. We have uh we have a quest. We're gonna jump right in. We're gonna roll right up there. We've got a quest to go talk to Mountaineer somebody. He's up here in the guard tower. That should give us a uh, follow-up quest or two to, uh, I think, go into the Silver Stream Mine. Mm -hmm. We will see. Yeah! Da-da-da! We got thunderstorms happening right now. I could lose power at any moment. Try to about foreshadowing, making it all dramatic. My glasses are a wee bit dirty. I'm not actually used to wearing glasses um, for things, but my eyesight has gotten worse just in the last few months. I mean, for reading and stuff, but uh, yeah. It's how old I am. I'm now using them to see my giant monitor. <laughs> I don't know the best way to clean glasses, but they're always, they always seem freaking hazy to me. So it's always got a glare happening. Who's this up here? Let's go see. Da 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 yeah, man, I'm doing pretty good today. It is a Friday. Friday afternoon. How are you? I'm pretty good. Well, if it isn't a young, bristling warrior, no doubt drawn here by talk of my exploits in fields of battle. No time for stories now, for there are great, important deeds that need doing. So if you're looking for glory... Then luck shines on you today. Okay. Just calm down there, Mr. Ego. Filthy paws. The Silver Stream mine to the east ran dry long ago. It was converted by the Miners League into a storage depot, but now kobolds have moved in, putting their filthy paws on good dwarven tools. We'll root out those vermin soon enough, but the League wants someone to get their gear out of the mine before we warriors tromp in there and break things. It'll be a tough delve. You might want to. You might want cohorts at your side. I don't need cohorts, son. I'm a gnome warrior with a skull shield and a comb over. The gear is stored in Miner's League crates throughout the mine. Good luck. All right, he wants four of them. Oh, look at that. Look at that chest piece. Okay, hey, good. we're doing that. Talk to me. What else you got? Stormpike's orders? There is a dwarven armorsmith whose work I admire greatly. His name is Furin Longbeard, and his skill is unmatched. I need a new shield, and I must have one of his. The problem is Furin is far to the south in the dwarven district within Stormwind in human lands. I can't imagine why he would live there so far from Ironforge. The humans must pay him a king's ransom to keep him there. <laughs> so if you want to travel... And don't mind making some money, then you will send Furin. Then will you send Furin my request for a shield? I will. Okay. Watch get her back. That's not quite as exciting as uh the Silver Stream mine quest, but we'll pick it up. Let's do it, boys. Want that chest piece really bad.
Da 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 da. Are you after me? Unwise, sir. Really unwise. I don't take no prisoners. Mm hmm. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. All right. Go ahead and get off that. Calm down there, running around, pants. Where are you going? I'm going, to, I'm going to tell my friends so they can get you. No, you're not. Oh, somebody's here. Somebody is here. Could be good, could be bad. Right now it's good. Respawns would be bad. level are these guys? Or, uh, higher level than us. You've got a bleed on you. I ain't even worried about you. Yeah. Go ahead and die while I s steal our stuff back. Journeyman stave. Oh, it's an offhand. Well, we have a shield for an offhand. Which is way better. Yeah, I wonder who's in here. Oh, there he is. Hey, how's it going, brother? Greetings. How's it going? I appreciate you clearing the way, my friend. Level 15? He won't have any trouble in here. Oh, hello. Nice candle on your head. What does that do for you? It's probably just a fashion statement. It's nothing to do with necessity or practicality or usefulness. Well, that was pretty easy. Uh-oh. You absolute bastard. By absolute bastard, I mean bastard like all the way, 100%. All bases covered, bastard. Give me that. Back to what I was doing. All right, let's go get our chest piece. I'm just running out. It's definitely not a mistake. Okay, it might be. Okay, I changed my mind. We're gonna fight because I see another one right there, and I got dazed. Bastard! You bastard! You. Can't get any rage up. There's no way you saw me from there. Captain Asshat, we're a little bit low here. I got a health pot if I need it. Gonna drink it. I feel like we need it. Get off me with that crap. Alright, we're in the clear. Maybe. Perhaps. Yes, we are. Let's go get this mo um, copper vein. Copper node. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look at that. I've really looked too closely at these. Look at this copper streams running through them. Guy's like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that it? That is it. I see you, spider. Creeping around. Doing 
spider stuff. Pretty close to level 12. Thought we'd have a bit more rested XP than that. But we'll take it. Oh, my, uh... My weighted thing, rough waystone, is wearing off. We need that two extra damage. You got my attention. Good. I like having people's attention when I'm talking to them. Let's get rid of that. I'm just gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell that and that. And I'm gonna sell that. Sure. And I'm going to sell that and that. I'm going to keep that and that and that and that and those. All right. Off with you. Off with you. Let's get our reward that we earned. No. Yes. Here, there. Here, there. Give me that. Watch your back. Yes. Very good. All right, what else we got? Storm wind. Surely there's more quests here. Are we like in between uh in between level ranges here? Let's see. Um well, we know it's up there. Death at this level. Oh, you know what? I know where there is a quest. Through here. Pretty sure there is a quest to find a missing, I think it's a missing dwarf. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to give any spoilers away, but he got eaten by a bear. <laughs> yeah, we did this, uh, I'm pretty sure we did it on Finn. All those months ago, weeks ago. I'm thirsty. I got a powerful thirst. And I'm going to quench it with some brisk iced tea. <laughs> hey, is he sponsored by brisk? No. <laughs> but I should be. I should be sponsored by some iced tea company. Mm-hmm. That is a cool looking uh crag bowl right there. I gotta remember to get a thumbnail. I've been uh I've been hit and miss with them. See that right there, guys? Can you see that? That's the remains of a dwarf that got eaten. <laughs> so somebody should have a quest. I see it. I see him. Pilot Hammerfoot. You guys are wasting lantern fuel. It's broad daylight. I don't know why that lantern's burning. It's a fire hazard. You got my attention. Good. The Lost Pilot. My friend and fellow siege engine pilot, Maury Hildelf, is lost in the hills. We were looking for a rare ore that's needed for a high-grade blast powder. Of course you were. And during our search, he drove his engine up a steep hill and busted it. Still convinced that ore was in these mountains, Hildelf charged me to guard our engines while he continued on foot searching. It's been days, and I've heard some beastly growls in the hills at night. Maury's tough as nails, but I'm worried. Please, Mountain, find him. Okay. This isn't as good as what we have. But we're going to help this guy out. We're going to help him out. Let's see if we can find them, guys. I'm just using... It's just instinct at this point, the direction I'm going. I don't really know where I'm going. I don't really know. I'm just... I'm just following... Just something within me drawing me here. It could be this yellow question mark. It might be. Okay, we found him. Let's look at the state of this guy. Oh, he's just a 
skeleton. Okay, it's a little bit creepy looking. Here is the corpse of a dwarf, mauled, frozen, and picked clean by mountain scavengers. Clutched in its hand is a book containing the roughly scribbled notes of Mori Hildelve. Uh, and around its frame, still in superior condition, is a brigadier's vest. The grisly scene must have been where the siege engine pilot met his end. Yeah, that's a safe bet. That's a safe bet. And I gotta get a screenshot of this. A pilot's revenge. Hildo wrote in his journal that he was attacked by Mangle Claw, a huge ice claw bear. He drove off the beast, but not before it mauled him savagely. Judging from the state of Hildo's body, Mangle Claw must have later returned and killed him. Hmm. However, Hildelv wrote in his journal his one final wish, uh, wish even, revenge against Mangleclaw. Okay. If we kill him, I, why do I buy stuff, man? I'm never buying anything off the auction house again. I s swear every time I buy something, we get a reward that replaces it. All right. Ours is better. Yeah, ours is better. All right, let's get ready for a let's get ready for a screenshot. Um Hey. What are you doing, man? We're going to have to I'm not going to kill that. Level 7. Okay, I should be all right. Well, there's two of them. All right. Hold on with the screenshots, YouTube boy. Were you the one that was eating on his corpse? Like, yeah, I'm I'm a mountain lion, dude. It's uh meat. Let's see if we can get creative with a thumbnail here. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's even better. There you go. That's good. Reapply Battle Shout when you don't need to. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Oh, we got some battle pants? No. Ours are better. We got some burnt leather breeches. Okay. Right on. Well, that was worth it. We got us a talent point, boys. And we're going to spend it. We're going to spend it like a boss, and I know exactly where I'm going. Boom, right there. Done. This increases the bleed damage done by Rend by 75%. Wounds the target, causing them to bleed for 49, plus an additional 1 based on weapon damage. All right, let's report our findings. Hey. Hi there. How's it going? I'm sorry, Pilot Hammerfoot, but your friend, well, he got eaten by a bear and then picked clean by scavengers. What's on your mind? Is that too much information? Hello, Mountain. Did you have a did you have word of my friend Hildelv? I did. I do. This is grim news, for Hildelv was a good friend. And I wish I could have been there with you when you found the beast, Mangleclaw. Thank you, Mountain. Your deed will be remembered by the pirates. The pirates. Arg! By the pilots of Iron Forge Siege Brigade. All right. We'll take this. Be good. I will be good, brother. Um, Where's our hearthstone? Stout lagger. Okay. We are officially have done all the quests in here. I think... I think, I feel like, you know what? I feel like we missed some, um, some stuff here because of the Yeti kills. I'll tell you what we're going to do. How close? Let's do this. We'll hearth back. Spinny move, of course. We'll fly to Ironforge. And time permitting, we will run down to Keranos. I feel like I missed some quests there. 
I'm positive we did. There is that, but I don't. We can't do that at this level. That's to kill the ogre boss. I don't think we can do it. Interest you on the pipe? No, but you can interest me Lovely. in a uh, Griffin ride to Ironforge, sir. You alcoholic. Offering people pints before they get on an eagle or a griffin, even. So I did all kinds of work today. Of course, I went to the gym. Then uh, did a good deal of work. I'm talking about like six hours, guys. Yeah, that's right. Six hours. <laughs> then I got on. Uh, I went down the rabbit hole of YouTube I, um, you know how that is. You're watching something, and over on the side is a recommendation. Hey, that looks cool, and you click it, and then that's interesting, and then you see another thing, but you don't want to stop watching what you're watching, so you right-click on and open a new tab so you remember to watch it. Then I have, like, 95 tabs open. I spent a good deal of time uh, down the rabbit hole of YouTube. Sure did. What is with these, um, like the bloopers, sports bloopers, whatever? Basically, to be successful doing that, what you have to do is just make up a thumbnail. It doesn't have to relate to the video. It just basically has to have a hot chick, either her ass or big breasts in the thumbnail. And people, there you go, one million views instantly. Apparently, that's that's all that is. I was watching uh, people scaring each other. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. <laughs> I enjoy it. Let's go see our warrior trainer. Cue up the Iron Forge epic music. Look, we're going to walk across hot coals. We don't care. We'll do it again. We're a warrior. I should have took off my boots. Make it even more dramatic. There we go. This is old Bilbin tool tassel spanner. I require training, sir. Overpower. Instantly overpower the enemy, causing weapon damage plus five. Only usable after the target dodges. My overpower cannot be blocked, dodged, or parried. Um, weapon damage plus five? Okay. Well, I don't know. That might be good. 12.3. Um, well, Battle Shout 2 we're going to get. This uh, increases melee attack power by 20. What does ours currently do? Wait, it's the same thing? Oh, this is, uh, it's the same amounts of attack power. It just increases the area of effect, but we're not in a party and we're not going to be for a while. Yeah, I don't know if I want to spend, uh, nine silver on that, if I'm being honest. Bashes the target with your shield for six damage. Also interrupts spell casting. Take it. I may as well take that too. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna pass up on battle shout. If it if it Off and away. upped the uh, melee attack power, yeah, definitely. But it does not. All right, I'm gonna have to. I got to get some more buttons here. Um. Let's see. We've got to overpower is one and shield bash. All right, I need two buttons, guys. Should be bar, bar two. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I got to move this around. Um, shield bash. This is our interrupt. And then we've got our overpower. 
This should go... That's way too many damn buttons. That's way too much crap down there. Uh, get off of that. Do this. Do that. Let's move this here. I feel like I need two rows. I'll fix this off camera. All right. Do we don't have time? Well, I guess we're kind of... Uh, where am I going? How do we leave this way? Let's run down to Karanos. Should have some more quests down there. Probably won't do them this episode, but... Um, we will have some for next. I'm sure we've... Uh, I don't think we've killed Yetis yet. Maybe we have? Maybe we have done everything in there. I don't actually know. How's it going, Money Penny? I think she was into me. Did you see her jump when she saw me? That was pure excitement and attraction. It was. <laughs> Could have been like a yikes jump, but I doubt it. I mean, look at us. Yeah. You know what it is, guys? It's the beard. It's the beard and the handlebar mustache. Yeah, this bar is ridiculous now. I've got a... I'll fix that. I kind of hate using it, honestly, but I'm so bad at having to mouse down here, you know, and I'm not, I suck at key bindings, just terrible at it. Probably running down here for nothing. Maybe we did kill the Yetis. I honestly do not remember. Hey, brother. Look at that beast. Look at that sexy beast. What you okay, just trying to run off the mountain. Don't tell me what to do. I will. I will tell you what to do. I wonder what happened to my... Okay, that works. You suck! That works. Now it's working. I don't know why it wasn't working before. Am I recording? Yes. I am recording. Oh. Oh, I see a quest. Granus Swift Axe. We'll also check back over there at uh, Steel Grill's Depot. Make sure we didn't miss anything. We could always go to Stormwind, pick up some quests. Oh, this is a warrior. This is a warrior thing. Talk to me. I will talk to you. Hello, warrior. You show a lot of promise, but you still need to learn some tricks, and Morin Stormpike is just the dwarf to teach you. You can find Murin at the Hall of Arms in the Military Ward in Ironforge. Where we just were. Hey, good. Shut up, Grannis. <laughs> All right. Everything's fine. I'm not raging. You're raging. All right, let's go check over here real quick. It's not that far. There is a quest. Pilot Bellowitz. I always say Bellowitz. It's Bellowfizz. What do you got, brother? This is the Yetis. He's he needs Yetis for the uh, to line his uh, thing here. What can I do for you? I'm a liar. Rejold Barley Brew experiments with his brews. Some of them taste good. Some bad, and some well. Some will lay all but the stoutest dwarves flat. 
He lives in Brunau Village, west of Kiranos, and one of his drinks, Evershine, is what I want. It'll help keep me warm when I'm on the cold road, and the blessed stuff burns so hot I can throw it in Jet Steam's furnace for a burst of power. That little tactic has gotten me out of more than one tight spot. All right. Keep your feet on the ground. All right. I'll keep it on the ground. My feet and everything. All right. Let's head back up to Iron Forge because I'm interested to know what this warrior thing is. I honestly have no idea. So I uh, not really played warrior. Who's that over there? Fedma? Hello. Hey, Fedma. Little no mage, cutie patootie, level 33. What are you doing here? I'm sitting awful low in my chair. Oh, man. Has this thing been hitting? Hear that? I had two videos, two episodes where this thing was rubbing. My pop filter was rubbing against my mic holder, casement thing. I need to fix that so that doesn't happen. I've gone without this and I... I'll do it. I'll take this stupid thing off and I'll do a test and it I can't tell the difference. And then I'll do an episode, and it it seems like it does make a difference. So I don't know. I'm just going to leave it, I guess. I'll try to set it up so it's uh, not so intrusive. Thanks, E. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. That scared me. We were going to run into a wall. The brisk is pretty good. The brisk iced tea. Got nothing on the Arnold Palmer, though. So. Who's this? Thief Catcher Far Mountain. Hey, my name's Mountain. He's like, yeah, well, my name's Far Mountain. I'm going to rename mine to Close Mountain. <laughs> ah, right. Oh, he's back here. He's up here. I didn't expect it to be this guy. This is the PvP guy. What can I do for you? Ah, Mountain. I've heard... <laughs> Don't let me slap you, Morin. I was reading. I heard the warriors of Dunmoreau bouncing your name around. I hope you haven't spent all your time in the breweries. No. What does that say? Is that a J? Vedric? If you want to rise in the ranks of the warriors, then you'd better be tough. Well, I am tough. I can teach you new moves, but before that, prove to me you can handle yourself against real foes. Vedric is the toughest troll you'll find in these parts, and he's who you have to beat. He has a hut in the foothills just south of Frostmane Hold. Bring me Vedric's head, and I'll know you have metal. Haven't we done this before? I feel like we've done this before. Okay. Off with you. All right, well, that'll be something for next episode. Interesting. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and call it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. I surely, surely do. And Mr. Mountain and myself will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Peace.